back to my channel it's been a long time I am so sorry man like I needed another mental break <laughs> I also got some great opportunity to do something and it's really exciting just like I don't know I don't like to talk about stuff like that because it's kind of personal with that opportunity I'm going to be like kind of occupied with that but I don't think it's going to hinder my uploading schedule that much um but I am so sorry for not uploading last week I'm sorry if you could hear that motorcycle in the background sorry for not uploading last week and I, I, I don't know has it only been like a week it feels like it's been two weeks however long <laughs> it's been we got some stuff to catch up on. So I am so excited. You guys know that BTS performed at the VMAs and they won um, best group or best pop group, best pop, can't remember. Um, they won uh, that for On, which is amazing. Um, I think it was it for on or was it just best group? I don't know. It was something great and they were in a lineup with a bunch of other great nominee and just sheer perfection from them. Anyway, so this is post VMA and BTS is getting so many opportunities. I can't keep up like you need to follow me on Instagram because you'll catch a lot more updates from me on there. So go ahead and follow at Kpop and Curls on Instagram. But yeah, I was just like, I can't keep up. Guys, I cannot keep up. Seriously, like, can we just talk for two seconds? Can you guys believe that BTS came from, I think this is why I appreciate them so much more. BTS came from a small company in South Korea. Like, South Korea was known for the How You Wave, but it was kind of just like a subtle wave. I mean, well, it was pretty big once Psy came out with his stuff, but... Then it died back down. It's like, okay, people, some people came over to K-pop and, you know, they know about it, but it was never on this level. I remember when Girls' Generation went to the, uh, was it Nickelodeon Awards or some awards, a Kids' Choice Awards, and everybody was looking at them like, yeah, who invited them? What is K-pop? Anyway, I'm just so happy that like BTS literally came from that legacy and they were not projected to be the top guys. And that just lets you know that it, it shows that it's possible with hard work. Everything's possible with hard work. And just looking at their progression as the smallest company, un unknown boy group, and then just slowly, exponentially hitting their peak. I really should have invested in them when I heard of them back in 2015. I'm very upset. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and react after that long-winded intro and appreciation for BTS. I'm going to go ahead and react to BTS Performs Dynamite on AGT. By the way, I learned Dynamite. Yes, I did. I don't know if I would ever put a dance Wait, I, that was my first video, it was a dance cover. If you don't know about that, you should check that out. It's literally like the first video I put on my YouTube channel. I might do like a little, a little dance cover. I don't know. <sighs> do you guys wanna see a dance cover? I don't know, whoever watches this video, put down below if you would like to see a dance cover of Dynamite. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into my reaction of BTS Dynamite right now. Oh, we got live vocals, guys. I kind of like when they do American performances because they don't put the track behind it. Y'all need to give J-Hope his flowers, I'm telling you. This man is amazing. 
at dancing. I mean, I don't know who doesn't appreciate J Hope dancing. Yes, Jimin. Bias record. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got the medicine, so you should keep your eyes on the ball. Hey, get it, sugar, with that foot. <laughs> It looks so good. Look at the set. Oh, he's so, ah, he's so attractive. How does a person look that good? Tay is this close. He is this close. He, sir, please bring it down. I love this set. I wonder where they are. Is this in South Korea? Gosh, I love BTS so much. Like, you guys, <laughs> do you understand? I mean, all the BTS lovers out there. No, not all of you guys. Because all of you, some of you guys are just like, oh, you know, BTS, like, boom, bop, whatever. <sighs> Did we all have this, like, back in high school when I, um, or it was around junior, like, junior summer, uh, coming into my junior year? I was just kind of like whatever about BTS because my sister was really trying to get me on them and I was just like no I'm an EXO girl all day like don't come at me with no other group like what is it multi-fandom f that like I'm I'm for one group all day and then <laughs> I don't know what it was I know what song made me a true BTS fan but before that um it was I need you I need you just did it for me and even hitman bang said that was their pivot to greatness um and they just escalated from there and i should have invested in that <laughs> like dang but i was a teenager so i mean with what money but i love bts so much that i was like i gotta get tickets i gotta get tickets before they become big because i knew way back then that they were going to be big i just didn't know it was going to be at this stage like, like this global level like i thought if anything they would get recognition from america but it wouldn't be mainstream america i thought it would be like oh you like you go to class and you say oh bts and somebody says oh yeah i, I think i've heard of them like yeah they, they sound good i heard that one song by them steve aoki boom but i didn't think it would be like oh they're getting bmas they're getting billboard they're getting like this is impressive <laughs> And I remember saying to myself, we had went to the anime convention in Atlanta and I really just sat here and went to an anime convention when BTS performed not far down the street. Now the problem with that was we couldn't get the tickets because every even if we were to get the tickets, they oversold and people were standing outside of the stadium. So it's kind of good that we didn't get those tickets, but me and my aunt were just like, should we get these BTS tickets? Low key... I should have got those tickets. 
if we would have just paid earlier, we wouldn't have to deal with the whole over ticket selling, whatever thing. But, oh man, to be able to see them in concert, like that would be a dream, a huge dream of mine. I love them so much and like I really thought one day I would be with Ratmon. Like you could not tell me anything. You couldn't tell me anything. I was like, no, my dream is to be with Ratmon. That is very weird. Sorry if this is coming off a bit creepy, but you didn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me nothing. Like I was like, yes, Ratmon all day. Like me and him are going to meet. If we're gonna be on a beach. It, like I had this whole thing in my head, but whatever. It could still happen. It could still happen. You know, COVID kind of messed some stuff up, but you know, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm just impressed. Um, I say that every time I see them doing something on mainstream, I'm just so impressed by their perseverance and their performance. It's just amazing. Um, I also wanted to react to their VMA Dynamite getting ready. So that'll be the next video. I'm very excited for that. Please stay tuned, watch these videos, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.